My name's Lance Foreman and uh, I'm the owner of H. Foreman & Son. We are the oldest producer of smoked Scottish salmon in the world. Uh, the business was started by my great-grandfather and we've always been based in this part of town. We had just built a brand new facility um, about 100 metres in that direction uh, nine years ago and within uh, less than a year of moving into the new place they said by the way you've got to move out because that's where we want to build the Olympic Stadium. So it was very frustrating for us but not just us indeed because that area, that 500 of acres where the Olympic Park um, is happening, that was the greatest concentration of manufacturing land in the whole of London, essentially being wiped out for three weeks of sport. The London Development Agency, um, who were the body uh, responsible for assembling all the land for the Olympics, had an 18-month window in which they could have been putting in place measures to assist all those businesses to help them relocate in the event that London won the bid. And, um, you may remember a time when, uh, when London was bidding and there were adverts on all the buses and trains which said back the bid, back the bid, and you, you had this everywhere. Well they should have been putting in place measures during that period but they did absolutely nothing because they were convinced that when the president of the IOC, Jacques Rogo, was going to get up on that podium in Singapore as he did, um, he would say at the 30th Olympiad I declare the city of Paris, but he said London and uh, it was a uh, a huge problem for them. Thousands of young people were jumping for joy in Trafalgar Square saying yes we've won the bid but in the LDA's offices they were going oh my god what are we going to do now because suddenly they had uh, they had a well, 250 businesses to relocate and um, I would say they failed um, because 75 of those businesses never made it um, over 100 are still fighting for compensation even today that's five years on and there are about 70 businesses like us that did a deal and, uh, and moved on. Um, our strategy was just to become a complete and utter nuisance to the authorities so that uh, they would just literally want us out of their hair. And that strategy worked. I, I was due to appear at the public inquiry to cross-examine Sebastian Coe. And the day before that was due to happen, I got a phone call from the LDA and they said, Mr Foreman, if you drop your cross-examination tomorrow, we'll do a deal with you. We were given a year to relocate. So this, this building was designed in a month and built in 10 months. But when we moved here, we, we felt it was as though somebody had pressed the pause button on our business for four years up until that point. You know, we had this four-year battle with the authorities and during that time we couldn't focus on growing or developing our business at a time when the economy was booming. Um, we couldn't, you know, we had a brand new factory that we couldn't exploit and indeed um, our centenary came and went during that period and you only get marketing opportunities like that every hundred years so we, we blew ours. Um, but we felt that we're in such a unique location. We found this site, we've built this place and we are closer to the Olympic Stadium than any building has ever been to any Olympic Stadium ever in living memory. So we created three new businesses. We created a restaurant. We didn't have a restaurant before. We've created a hospitality venue and we've hosted events for probably 75-80% of the Olympic sponsors and indeed we created an art gallery because this, air, this part of town has the highest concentration of artists anywhere I, b I believe on the planet, that's what they tell me. And, uh, during the Olympics um, we have some very exciting plans. Um, this building is being transformed into a hospitality venue where people can have a great British dining experience. In the Olympic Park itself all the food is either McDonald's or vetted by McDonald's but here they will get the best of British food produced by a fine food producer that's been in the business for over a hundred years.